Hey, Bradley. Uh, just what's this experience like for you? Kind of a unique experience being here at Media Day, coming, thinking about back with your whole career at Alabama, and now you're here in front of all these cameras. Uh, you know, it's a it's awesome, awesome, uh, excuse me. <laughs> it's a uh, awesome experience. Uh, you know, to be selected by my coaches to represent my teammates. You know, there's a lot of guys that deserve to be up here to represent the University of Alabama football team, and uh, you know, I'm just blessed that I'm here. Left front here, Bradley. Gotcha. Hey, Bradley, shock you say WAP TV in Baton Rouge. Um, if you can talk about how physical are the LSU games each and every year, and, and what is it like to, to play in that game? Uh, you know, they're a nail biter each year. You know, we, uh, you know, we we go at each other with everything we have. Um, you know, it's it's always a good game, and one I look forward to every year because it's I mean it's a competitive, hard nosed game. One more here on the front left, Bradley. Yeah, Bradley, uh, Minka just talked about uh, how difficult it is to, to kind of stay on top. And I'm, I'm curious, in your opinion, how, why do you think Alabama has been able to maintain its success, at least as long as you've been there? I mean, there's a lot of hard competitors on our team. And, uh, you know, with Coach Saban, you know, we have the process. Um, you know, we, we push every day and we try to be 1-0 at the end of every week. You know, we, we try to do things that other people don't want to do or can't do. You know, it's, it's just to push it and break down barriers and knock down walls. Bradley on the left here standing. Hey, Bradley. Uh, oh, I'm I know sorry. You're going to be the one who's, who's blocking for them, but how much of a challenge do you think it is uh, in terms of with, with all the depth you guys have a running back to make sure that, you know, everyone gets that ball because there's only one ball to go around? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, like I said, there's one ball, you know, they – you have to come and compete every day, and whoever deserves to be out there is going to be out there. You know, it's, it doesn't it doesn't matter about your background. It doesn't matter about anything else but how you how you compete. Hey, Bradley, we're going to go to Macy on this right side in the rear. Chris Brees, CBS in Birmingham. I already heard you say the word process. Everyone's saying it. I say it all the time now. How often do you say it now? Um, a good bit. Every time, at least I'm in the media. So, <laughs> what, what does that word mean to you? you say out loud, it seems you repeat it a lot. Right. Um, you know, the process is just our our stair step. You know, it's it's one thing after another. You know, putting one foot in front of the other and going forward. It's doing the right things whenever you don't feel like doing it. It's uh, going the extra mile. You know, that that's what the process is. It's it's continue to try to be great. Front left here, Bradley. Gotcha. Bradley, Justin McNeely, WSFA on Montgomery. Uh, you went up against a lot of talented defensive tackles and defensive linemen last year. Who's kind of really stepped up into that role, especially the loss of Jonathan Allen? Who have you seen step up? Uh, you know the whole the whole def defensive line core stepped up. They're uh, you know they're trying to push it and trying to get that starting spot. You know every competitor wants to start. I mean that's that's your goal when you come to Bama or wherever it is. Um, you know we've we've had a lot of young guys that are that are pushing it and try to get there. And you know it's it's the whole core that's trying to get there. So. On the left here again, Bradley. Speaking about the running backs earlier, can you go through what you've seen from Damian Harris? Uh, you know, Damian, he's a he's a hard runner. He's uh, he's a workhorse. He uh, he presses it every day, and you know, he, he's he's a competitor, like full out, no doubt about it. He he um, he wants to win. He wants to do what's best for a team. Bradley on the back right. Being a guy who's seen Jalen Hurts front and center last year, and then again this spring. What do you think needs to improve in order for you guys to take that next step in, on offense with him? I mean, our offense has to come out clicking. Like it's, you know, it's it's not about just the quarterback or just the running back or just the line. It's it's a whole. It's a unit. It's a you know, it's a old machine. If one part's not running right, the whole thing's not running. You know, it's it's not just just one aspect. Okay, Bradley, the far back left. Hey, Bradley, Chris Turner, uh, New Center 11 in Meridian. Uh, talk about what you've been seeing out of two at the spring. 
Uh, you know, two is competing just like everyone else. Uh, you know, our whole quarterback core is is uh, precedent, and you know, seeing what they can do. You know. Okay, far back right now, Bradley, NBC College Station. How great is it for you guys when you play Texas A&M to not have to look across and from either lineman's perspective and see Miles Garrett? Uh, you know, you know, Miles was a he was a great competitor. You know. Good to go against, you know, good challenge for any offensive lineman. And uh, but you know, they still have a ton of other guys there that that are great athletes, great players. So you know, it, it's not really, you know, I'm sure they won't have any let off, and they don't plan on having let off. I assume. But okay, Bradley, we're here to the left. Um, heading into this season, even through the spring, has there been a different level of concentration where you feel a bit more dialed in after losing in the national championship? I mean, we've been we've been pressing this summer. We've uh, our summer condition is is probably one of the tougher that I've been through when I've been at Bama, um, you know. But the guys are killing it. Like they're they're trying to give the extra effort, trying to go the extra mile. Um, but you know, I'm they're just pressing it. That's, that's it. You know. <laughs> okay, Bradley, middle right here. Hey, Bradley, I kind of touch on a similar question I asked, but um, we heard Minka kind of talking about the pressure that you guys have at Alabama and the attention, the national attention that sort of paid you. When did you get to a point where you were comfortable with this? Did you ever think you'd be kind of at a media days like this? Did you think you would be kind of one of the representatives one day? And Did you ever get to a point where you were comfortable with the national attention paid to you? You told me to just to me or to the team? To you specifically. Um, you know, I've you know, there's been a lot of ups and downs in my career, and, uh, and you know, I was lucky enough to stay persistent and, you know, get an opportunity to, to show what I could do, and, you know, I, I kind of took it and ran with it, and, you know, it's just, it's a blessing to me that, that, I'm, that I was able to stay the course. Like, it was, I'm a small town country boy from Roanoke, Alabama. Like, I'm, you know, I was nothing special coming out, you know. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing opportunity that, that I thank God for every day. Okay, Bradley, next we're going to go left here standing. Right, Bradley. Uh, Chase Horn, WHT Huntsville. Deontay Brown, a guy we saw get a lot of playing time and reps in the spring. Um, just kind of the growth you've seen from him from year, his first year to now, and is he a guy you expect to see playing on that line starting sooner rather than later? Uh, you know, Deontay, he's, he's an athlete. He's competitive. I mean, I've never seen a big guy that can move like he has. He can. Um, I mean, it's honestly unreal. He's actually shed a decent amount of weight. He's, you know, he's – He's ready to compete and try to get a starting spot. You know, I can't say for sure if he's going to be our starter or if who's going to be our starters. You know, um, but you know, he's he's a great competitor, and you know, everybody on our line is trying to get those starting spots. So I can't necessarily for say that he's going to be the person, but I can say that he's competing for that spot. Bradley, next question on the risers and the right. Hi, Bradley. Mary Lee Adams, WDHN, Dothan. Frank Ragnow said earlier this week, if the quarterback gets touched, then they're not doing their job and they have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, what's your mindset? Excuse, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Do you, is that your mindset as well, as far as the quarterback and your protection, and if you're not doing something right, if they get touched? Yeah, I mean, that, that's our job. The offensive line's sole purpose is to protect the person with the ball. Like, uh, you know, if he's, if he's getting touched, someone's not doing their job right. Someone's not... You know, applying enough pressure or, or doing their scheme right. Uh, so you know, you have to you have to practice and practice, and practice. So you can't get it wrong. What have you been doing in practice? I mean, we just have to go over our scheme, go over our play calls, um, you know, drills, so on and so forth. Bradley, we're over here to the left, standing next. Um, so uh, you're going up against Florida State. You've had a lot of time to scout against them. What have you seen from Josh Sweat and Derek Nottie, and how do you hope to stop them? Uh, you know they're they're all great athletes on the defensive line. There, uh, they, you know, their their whole defense is is a good defense. Like it's they're no they're no slack. They you know they're going to bring everything they have, and you know we're going to bring the same. So you know it's it's not going to be given either side. Okay, next question on the riser on the right. I know that game is just like every other game, and I know you guys do a pretty good job of blocking out. How everyone wants to talk about Alabama, Florida State could be the the, the best non-conference game ranking wise we've ever seen. But realistically, you can block it out so much. But how do you guys? I, how much do you hear about that when you're when you're trying to block it out? Just tell me, just the Florida State game? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's you know it's another game. 
it's uh, you know if you don't if you don't win that one then you know and you don't win the next one then you can't go into the to where you want to get it's uh, you know it's we have a motto it's one and oh so we want to be one and oh at the end of every week the first the last game didn't matter the next game doesn't matter it's the game that you're focused on Okay, Joe. Hey Bradley, we've, uh, we've heard from you guys in the past that Brian Dable's offense isn't significantly different from what you guys have been doing. Is that more because he his philosophy was similar to what you guys were already doing or because he's married his philosophy to, to what you guys present on the field? Um, it's probably a little bit of both. You know, he's um, – I'm sure he's made some sacrifices and, you know, I guess we have too. But, um, you know, it's – he's a great OC and he's – I think he's going to be really good for us. Austin front left here. Hey Bradley, since we're in a media setting, I thought I'd ask you this. It just seems like year after year, you guys never give an opponent bulletin board material or, or anything like that. It just seems like you let your, your play do the talking. Is that a conscious thing that you guys, part of your culture and what you guys do? I mean, we don't like, we don't talk, talk crap. We don't, you know, we don't try to get into all that. You know, we, we let our performance show what, what we're about. We don't have to talk, talk about it. Okay, Bradley, question here. On Bradley, a guy like Jalen, who came in as a true freshman and did what he did, do you think he doesn't get the respect he deserves? You know, everybody wants to ask about Tua, the freshman who hadn't played a game. Do you think what Jalen did kind of go, gets overlooked a little bit? Um, I mean, sometimes, you know, it, they're, they're all competitors. You know, <clears throat> some people want different people in there, but, you know, they're not, they're not coached, so they don't really have much say in that. But, um, you know, he's, you know, Jalen's a great competitor, and he's, you know, he's pressing it every day. Bradley on the right. Uh, the kind of to that note, what differences have you seen from Jalen from year one to now year two through the summer? Uh, you know, he's he's still he's still pushing it. He's um, I mean, ever since the, the last game, he's uh, he's been working, been pressing it, trying to just trying to get better for our team. We still have okay. Here we go. Uh, center right, Bradley. Hey Bradley, I just the off seasons between last off season and, and then this off season, um, it, was there a different approach? Because obviously the way the seasons ended, the last few seasons, was a different approach for you and kind of the way you approached your your craft. Um, you talking about just me in general? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, my job now is you know I've, I've kind of showed what I can do. I've showed that you know I can be a leader on this team, and you know, and now it's time to per perfect it, and you know. Be able to know what everybody else has to do, know their techniques, know their what their responsibility is. Like it's you know it's not just about me anymore. It's about this team. Like it's about it's about doing the best I can so I don't let my teammates down, my brothers down. Bradley, right front. Bradley, there's a you know a new rule. The coach is going to get 15 yard unsportsmanlike if he comes on the field protesting <clears throat> calls. Minka says that Coach Cochran is probably going to have to have a chain attached to Coach Saban. Is that going to be hard for Coach? You think to I mean, Stay off the field. I mean, you've seen the games. Like, <laughs> it's, yeah. Coach likes to get into it a little bit. Okay, Bradley, we're over here to the front left. Bradley, it's a long time away, but the Iron Bowl is always a great matchup between Auburn and Alabama. Talk about what that matchup means to you and how this can maybe predict who comes out of the West this year. Um, you know, I've been an Alabama fan since I was a little kid. Uh, you know, the, the Iron Bowl is a huge tradition, and – it's um, it's kind of a, a pride thing, at least for our in-state in guys. Um, but you know, it's like I said, we're going to be one and up. We're going to try to be one and zero after every week, and you know, just press forward. And then when we get there, we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, Bradley left uh, on the side here. Bradley Solomon, first time doing out on the new center. Brad, uh, do you get the sense that people are rooting for or hoping for a quarterback dilemma, or dare I say, controversy? Um, sometimes I feel like that, yes. Uh, you know, they, you know, everybody wants to see a competition. Everybody wants to see, you know, some drama. Like that's, that's just how we, how the world we live in is. You know, they, they want to see something, something new or something interesting. And, um, but, you know, Jalen is, Jalen is, you know, progressing every day. And, you know, the quarterbacks like Tua and uh, Mac Jones and so on and so forth, they're, they're pressing just as hard. You know, they're trying to they're trying to be in that lead role also. Do we have a few more minutes for other questions for Bradley?
Yeah, uh, do you have one, sir? No? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here. Good job. <laughs> Brad, we talked to some time some of Coach Davis' former players, and they say that the tough guy on camera, he's not like that behind the scenes, or he can be a lot lighthearted and uh, funny and whatnot. Do you have any, any stories or anything you could share on that front, or, or how does he relate to you guys? I mean, he's not, he's not tough all the time, right? You're talking about Coach Saban? Coach Saban, yes. Uh, you know, if it's anything to do with football, he's all business. You know, that's how he is. That's, you know, that, that's why he does what he does. Um, but when it, when it comes to anything off the field, he's coaches, you know, he's great. He's just like me and you sitting there talking. He, uh, you know, he took us actually us seniors to the lake uh, a couple weeks ago and just hanging out, laughing, you know, having a good time. So he, he's, he smiles every now and then. Bradley here, front left. Bradley, Stephen Gunner, WSFA Montgomery. This is about a guy who's now moved on to the league, but O.J. Howard came back for his senior season and wanted to improve on his blocking. How much did you see him improve in that blocking? What do you think he could do now at the next level? Uh, you know, O.J., he's, he's a competitor. He's a great athlete. He's, you, know, you name it, he's has great character. Um, you know, O.J. is, you know, he did what's best for the team. He came back and he, he improved not only for the team, but for herself also. You know, that was a great for him. Um, but he did outstanding job last year, and you know, I'm sure the Bucks are glad to have him.